Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A days of our lives casting leak says Steve Burton is joining the soap. So, will we see the ex-general hospital actor in Salem soon? The answer is yes and no. This is exciting six months after he left his iconic role as Stone Cold Jason Morgan on the ABC soap, the chatter's been bubbling and soap dirt went back to the source for confirmation. A source leaked to the Creative Inc. Will and Cassie podcast this huge news about Steve Burton, if you watch GHNDOL, you might know that name. Steve played Jason Morgan on General Hospital in the 1990s. He left the ABC show for a while after YNR lured him away. Steve played Dylan McAvoy on The Young and the Restless for four years. Then, he returned as the mob hitman to GH. In fact, the only soap Steve's not been on is The Bold and the Beautiful. So, yes, that means he's been on Days of Our Lives before. And according to the spoilers spilled to one of the podcast hosts, he'll be back. But will Burton play the same role he did before? According to the source, Steve Burton will be on the upcoming season of DOOL's streaming series. Already, Peter Reckel is back as Beau Brady, from Beyond the Dead apparently. And by his side will be Christian Alfonso as Hope Brady, another bit of info leaking says Christopher Sean is also back for Beyond Salem as John Blacks, Drake Hodgston, son Paul Narita. Is Paul still paralyzed or will he back on two feet when he shows up, as for Steve, He's not coming to the main show, but to Days of Our Lives, Beyond Salem. It's been six months since soap fans have seen Burton on a soap. He left GH over their vaccine mandate, he wore a mask in keeping with the policy of all the soaps. But when GH became the only soap to impose a mandatory vaccine policy, it was an issue. Steve asked for a religious exemption but was denied, however, he reportedly left on good terms and the ABC soap wrote an exit that left plenty of room for Steve Burton to return as Jason. Or for the soap to recast the role. But as this Days of Our Lives Digital reveal the start of something more, long-time watchers will recall that Steve was on the NBC soap in the past. And the spoilers about Burton coming to Beyond Salem say that he could be someone from the past, and the late 1980s, he played Harris Michaels on the NBC Sudzer. That was back in the heyday of Bo and Hope, among other hot plots. But who was Harris and is it likely that Days of Our Lives brings this character to Beyond Salem, soap legend Steve Burton got his start on daytime TV on Days. He played Harris Michaels who went to school with Eve Donovan, Cassie DePeva. Eve's last plot was tormenting Ben Weston, Robert Scott Wilson, Eve was arrested and sent to prison for kidnapping. But she wasn't quite so villainous when she first met Harris. Back then, Eve already had a past as a hooker. And one of their schoolmates, Jake Hoganson, Scott Reeves, set up a bet. He bet which of the guys in their group could get Eve into bed. Harris took the bet but ended up falling for Eve. Then, on Days of Our Lives, she tried to kill herself with sleeping pills after she heard about the bet. She never forgave Harris Michaels.so. Perhaps Days hired Steve Burton to reprise this role, and Eve Donovan's also back. That could be a lot of wicked fun. Right now, NBC hasn't officially confirmed this casting leak. But the source is reliable, so wait to see, get more Days of Our Lives spoilers from Soap Dirt. Days of Our Lives spoilers reveal Lucas Horton, Brian DeTillo, comes back without Sammy Brady, Allison Sweeney. And, his mother, Kate Roberts, Lauren Coslow, questions him about his sweetheart's whereabouts. When will Sammy return? Here's what we know so far on the NBC Sudzer.dool updates reveal Lucas Horton arrives back in Salem without Sammy Brady by his side. The couple has been gone for months. Further, he made the spunky blonde believe she had been kidnapped by her estranged husband, she was convinced E.J. DiMera, Dan Fuerigal, did it because of her sordid affair with Lucas. Plus, the jealous charmer even cooked the books at Demera Enterprises to point fingers at his adversary. However, Days of Our Lives recaps show EJ's lengthy prison sentence was overturned due to the devil messing with the trial. But, by then, Sammy already left town with her new man, 
while Sammy and her ex-hubby travel abroad, all hell broke loose in Salem. Literally. Further, her dad, Roman Brady, Josh Taylor, tried reaching Samantha Jean to tell her that her daughter Allie Horton, Lindsay Godfrey, fell prey to the devil. Now, all devil wants to take over her cousin's baby. Of course, Lucas should know their daughter is in trouble. Perhaps, that is why DOL spoilers suggest he's on his way back to town, however, when Lucas Horton returns, he doesn't have Sammy Brady with him. Where is his girlfriend? Did he do something to her again? It seems he has a legitimate explanation for returning alone. Or does he Kate Roberts has some harsh words for her son, days of our lives. She still hides her son's past criminal antics. So, he knows his secrets are safe with his mother. But, Roman can't be left in the dark if Lucas does something to his daughter again, what will Lucas say? Did she stay in Europe to take care of some business? Perhaps, Samantha needed to visit her youngest daughter Sydney at boarding school. DOL spoilers hint Kate demands the truth. After all, people do crazy things for love, days of our lives fans of Lumi want the couple to stay together. But, at what cost? Lucas tricked Sammy into choosing him over Elvis Jr. He fears she will return to his arms if she learns the truth about her captivity. Plus, watch out for Hurricane Sammy when she finds out her lover framed her husband. Maybe she already found out his lies, and Lucas Horton came ahead to do damage control. DOL teasers divulged months ago that Sammy Brady is back for a hot Salem summer. Does she know what Lucas did to her and EJ? The sneaky Lothario might not get away with it much longer. Further, Elvis Jr. already suspects his nemesis for the frame job. Days of Our Lives viewers should see the love triangle back in action soon. If Lucas gets found out, he won't be in the running much longer. Plus, Samantha may have to deal with another triangle as well. Her hubby is a lot closer to her sister Belle Black, Martha Madison. She was his lawyer during the kidnapping trial. The hurricane could catch her ex in bed with Belle, get ready for a sizzling summer ahead on DOL. Lucas Horton makes his way back home without Sammy Brady accompanying him? Where is she? Come back to soap dirt for your daily days of our lives spoilers and news. Days of our lives two week spoilers suggest Nicole Walker, Arian Zucker, sees Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, on the NBC Sedzer on April 18th to 29th. Plus, Jake DeMera, Brandon Barish, recovers memories of his dealings with the devil. Finally, Julie Williams, Susan Seaforth Hayes, issues a warning. Here's what happens. DOL, two week ahead updates reveal Nicole Walker has an intense moment with her ex husband Eric Brady. In a recent episode, Nicole runs into her sexy ex at the Brady pub. Priestly Eric last visited his hometown at Christmas 2021 to fight the evil incarnate. Sources say he's back to rid Salem of the devil once and for all. However, there may be more to Eric's return. Perhaps about Nicole, while Eric divorced Nicole, the two will always be first loves on days of our lives. In fact, Nicole Walker's current boyfriend, Rafe Hernandez, Galen Gehring, worries about losing her to the priest once again, but is Eric still with the priesthood? Teasers hint he may have given up his priest collar. DOL updates report Eric Brady and his ex-wife Nicole share an intimate moment. It was only a matter of time before the pair would reconnect, will sparks fly between Eric and his former sweetheart? Does Nicole Walker have second thoughts about moving on with Rafe? Plus, fans wonder how long Eric sticks around this time elsewhere in Salem, Jake Demir's memories come back. When his nephew Johnny Demir, Carson Boatman, danced with the devil on Days of Our Lives, the two had an intense encounter that left the mechanic unconscious. When he came to his senses, Jake couldn't recall what had happened. Further, although he suspected Johnny's possession before their disagreement, he forgot that, however, DOL spoilers hint that it's about to change. How will this reveal help the current situation? After all, the demon now resides in Jake's niece Allie Horton, Lindsay Arnold. Further, his new account of his fight with Joe Devil could have consequences for briefly possessed Belle Black as well. Jake DeMera could be critical in Salemites figuring out Allie's new dark side, but how will this discovery affect Johnny now that he's back to normal?
he will have to face what he's done sooner or later. Only time will tell what Jake decides to do with his refreshed memories on days of our lives. DOOL's matriarch, Julie Williams, would do anything for her family. But, lately, she feels helpless. Her grandson Eli Grant, Lamont Archie, lies in a coma after almost dying from a gunshot wound, the dashing detective discovered dirt on his wife's biological father and went to confront him. But, T.R. Coates, William Christian, didn't go down without a fight. After a brief struggle over the cop's sidearm, the movie man shot his daughter's husband. Dot, of course, Lonnie Price, Sal Stowers, doesn't know her creepy bio dad shot Eli. Plus, she's too distraught to do much of anything but take care of their twins and sit vigil by Eli's bedside, according to Days of Our Lives recaps, T.R. fakes concern for his son-in-law and tells his daughter she can lean on him. However, Julie Williams may notice something off about TR.DOOL teasers divulge Julie isn't afraid to give TR a piece of her mind. Will his crime soon be discovered on the NBC daytime drama? Watch for the showdown over the next couple of weeks, it's intense the next two weeks as Nicole Walker and her ex-husband Eric Brady get up close and personal. How close will they get on the Sudzer? Find out April 18, 29. Come back to Soap Dirt for daily days of our live spoilers.